Oh, mama, you is popping, baby girl. You is shining. Look at that skin, that melanin. What? Look at that drip. Okay, bitch. Body all ten. Body all ten. Melanin is popping. Yeah, you are gorgeous. Man, you are a beautiful sister. Skin. The largest organ. You see, the soft tissue covers a whole entire body. It's made to protect, regulate, and provide sensation. Our duty is to protect it from anything that may cause damage to it. Yet we expose it daily to false rays, causing severe damaged skin, forming it into scar tissue. Did you know? Scar tissue can reduce the nerve's blood supply. So every time you move, the pressure is placed on that nerve, causing unrelenting pain. Once upon a time, I felt safe in my naked form. What minute? Oh oh, pelage, ah, c'est une belle oui. Oh non, oui, 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 petit. Oh, got it, got it, got it, chalet, I'm like. Yo, damn, yo, you beautiful. I love me a black woman with her mind, right? Girl, you are beautiful inside and out. When I see you, it's your presence, it's your smile, it's your gracious glow that light up the room. I lathered my body with words of affirmation. You are enough. Moisturized it with self-love. You are worthy. Massaged it with confidence, being fearless, not giving a fuck. Embracing each curve, the hardness of my nipples, the dimples on my thighs, all my melanin that makes you high. Until worldviews painted their opinions on me, I was drenched with insecurities, self-doubt, fear, and the need for validation. Damn, yo, you see that girl over there? She got her ass on and everything. I know she wanted me to look. I'm trying to smash pronto. Damn. Damn, girl. You coming from thick as fuck. My skin was diseased. The scar tissues became my shield. Hard like a rock. Always a need to defend myself, cover myself, explain myself, quiet myself. Life screams. You must have thick skin to survive. But to their surprise, it was causing a slow, painful death called real self-suicide. Scar tissues formed this thick layer. This layer became my armor. You're too dark. You need to lose weight. You're getting too old for the music industry. You're just okay. You need to straighten your hair. Your songs are not good enough. You're too soulful. You're too sexual. You need to cover up. You're this, you're that. Labels on labels. She's too big to be wearing that dress. Her hair's too nappy, her skin's too dark, her lips are too big. She's too dark for that red lipstick. The process of desensitizing the scars took time. I had to be consistent with my skincare regimen. As you listen on, Someone's perverted mind will probably hear this and wonder how many licks does it take to get to the center and subject this message to just a sexualized object. You've missed the point, and clearly this wasn't for you. Girl, your eyes so fat. I love the way your nipples stick out to your shirt. Why can't you nick no? Why can't you go nick? Damn, baby, you just fucking. But here I am, unapologetically naked, publicly, literally, waiting for judgment. But then I remember my daily skincare routine. Step one, lather your body with words of affirmation. You are enough. Step two, moisturize with self-love. You are worthy. Step three, Massage with confidence. I am the best in my world. Repeat daily for best results. Skin. Now that I am a mother, um, 
in my skin, I feel freer, I feel strong, I feel um, accepting, I feel um, powerful, like my body brought life into this world. I love my body, I love every curve, roll, um, imperfection, um, I love it all, it's mine, and it's my daughter's, I love it. You're an empress.